Hey, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, the permaculture pimp daddy, where pimp means permaculture is my passion. So don't get offended. Anyway, the reason I'm so excited is because we, I am sitting in front of finished 18 day compost. Now, before we get going on this video, I highly suggest that you go back and watch the video we made on how to assemble that uh, pile. That's critical. It's, it's fundamental and it's critical. Today we're going to show you the progression of how it went over 18 days and how we wind up to here. So it's not as large because we've already used some. And uh, the cool thing about this is that we have an emerging orchard to put it. We can use it there. We can use it in the emerging food forest. We can use it in the garden boxes. I mean, who can't find a use for compost? Especially something that was procured in 18 days. So stay tuned and we're going to show you the progression. And if you have any questions in how this unfolded, leave them in the bottom and William is going to answer those for you because locally he is our compost expert and uh, he'll also be doing the narration as well. So enjoy it. All right, so here is our first flip and you can see me taking the cage off in the beginning. And this is going to be your hardest flip because all the grass and green material are, are uh, all locked in and kind of makes it difficult to pick up just a little bit at a time. So when you're doing this first flip, you want to make sure you fluff up everything really nicely. Make sure there aren't any black um, clumps or anything like that. And if there are, just fluff them up. Try to pile it up as best as you can. This is going to be by far your hardest flip. Everything else from here is quite a bit easier. And then when you're done, just cover it up. After every flip, you always cover it up with a tarp unless there's too much moisture and you can let it uh, air out a little bit. So here's our second flip and you can see quite a big, big difference in the compost. It's starting to break down quite a bit more. You can see some heat coming off there and but you can still clearly see where the grass is and everything like that. The black chunks are actually biochar. So in between the second and third flip, I think is where the biggest change occurs. This is where you can really see a difference between that, what you put into the cage and what's starting to become compost. And this, from what I've noticed, is also the highest temperature point. And from here on, you're gonna have to start watching out for white fluffy clumps in the middle of your compost. Now that's either anaerobic bacteria or dead bacteria from too much heat. Either way, the cause of the issue is too much moisture in the pile. So I mentioned earlier, cover your pile with a tarp after you're done flipping it. If there's too much moisture in it, then just leave it, let it air out for however long you need to, and then cover it back up when you're done. And it got a little dark here. I'd flip the pile too close to sunset. And it definitely helps out when you have somebody helping you flip the compost pile. So you'll notice whenever I'm flipping the compost pile, I start off by doing the perimeter of the pile. That's as wide as I want the pile to be. I'll start off by laying that in and then filling in the center. And then once the center gets higher than the edges, I'll stab my pitchfork in there just like that and just pry it out, pry the edges out. And you want a, a um, you want steep sides so that way most of the heat escapes from the top of the pile. So the heat is traveling through the entire height of the pile and escaping from the top. If it's short and flat, then most of your heat is just gonna go out into the air and it's not actually gonna travel through your pile very often. Or it's not gonna travel through your pile very well. It's just gonna escape into the air. And you can see I'll pile it up and then I'll just pry out a circle with my pitchfork and I just stab the center and pull the handle towards me all the way around the pile. And then at the end of your flip, 
you want to take that hard rake that you'll see at the end of every flip you'll take that hard rake and smash in where the pile meets the ground all the way around the perimeter on the ground uh, you want to try to get up as much compost as you can because it takes a lot of work to make it and you don't want to waste any So here we are with the hard rake, and then cover it up. Here the pile got a little wet, it had rained pretty hard that day, and uh, the temperature rose just a little bit, not enough for it to create any dead bacteria or for it to go anaerobic, but you can start seeing some of that steam coming off of it again. But doing, overall, doing 18-day compost is pretty forgiving. If you make any mistakes or if you add too much carbon or you don't have enough nitrogen or if it gets too hot or you didn't have enough water or you added too much water, it's okay. It'll still turn into compost. It'll just take a little bit longer, which is still fine. It's still compost that's better than anything you can buy in the store. All right, there you have it, folks. Nothing to it. 18 days later, and this is what you get. Now, we have no shortage of places, clearly, if you've watched any of our previous videos and where we can use this stuff. I mean, we can use it in the garden, in our vegetable boxes. We can use it around the trees. What you don't see next to me is another compost pile over there. And of course, if you're staying on track with what we're doing with those meat birds down there, You'll notice that we have a cubic yard of compost coming out of there every single week, starting a couple of weeks from now. So make sure you stay on top of it, folks. Give it a shot. If you need any tips, just ask down below, and uh, William will be more than happy to answer your questions. So with that said, this is Billy, the Permaculture Pimp Daddy from Permapastures Farm, and we'll see you next time.